please excuse the breasts in the way and the hair and the sweaty look and oh very sweaty sweaty betty today um but i've got coffee a lou limonade um a and a, a big pile hello whoever you are that's watching a big pile of jewelry oh hey karen i'm doing a you i'm like you yesterday in the future but now if that makes sense it doesn't make sense so oh. anyway so um last week i was meant to go um hey hey amy um i was meant to go and um buy some jewelry from oxfam and they were like oh we haven't we haven't prepared it yet um hey karen how are you um i'm really good today i'm good today i'm like super duper good today i finished my script last night i submitted it um hey sam you're right accounts don't do accounts i still haven't done my accounts from last year um um you're gonna uh, yay more jewelry awesome hey dawn oh my god everyone's here this is so exciting right so yes anyway as i was saying i finished my uh, my script so i treated myself to the bags of jewelry that i should have bought a fox fan last week but they didn't have them ready and now they are ready and i bought them today i have got i don't know i still don't know why they put them into one pound bags when i said i would just take them all and give me a price but they still felt the need to put them into bags i don't know I don't know. Whatever. Whatever they want to do, isn't it? Whatever makes them happy. T. Susan Davies. Hey, how are you? Um, first of all, shall I show you things that um, that wasn't from Oxfam? Other things that I bought today. So I bought this pretty little necklace. It's just some um, like, faux, um, like glass pearls. Nice little box clasp there. Um, I just thought the colour was pretty and that was 50p. Um... Oh, underneath this pile is a Celtic brooch, which I spent £2.50 on, which is quite pricey for one brooch, but there we go. Um, I got this little brooch. Uh, that was a pound. It's got an R on the back, and I don't know what the R means. Um, Regency? I don't know. Um, but anyway, I just bought it so it's something that I could look up and find out about. Same with this one. This was a little chain for 99p, and it's got um, AGAG, 92 GB on it. So again, that was just more so I could excuse the the boobs, by the way. Um, hi, Julie. Uh, of course, you have caught me. I, I am live. Um, but my mum really likes this, so it might just be going to my mum. Hi, Maria. And then Brian in the shop gave me this little cat, which um, is from Lady and the Champ, isn't it? It's the We Are Siamese, if you please. My hair is really super duper awful today. I do apologise. It's just terrible. I really need it cut again. Anyway, so those are things that I bought separately. And then these are bags of jewellery, which I shall open live. Isn't this exciting? Isn't this exciting? Um, uh, sun's out, buns out. They really are. Um, I have no shame, as you may have guessed. I have no shame when uh, it's, when it comes to the... I mean, they're, it's only flesh, isn't it? You know, I've been showing my bra off all day. Right, so first bag. It looks like tap to me. What do you think? Okay. So we've got... Plastic seed beads. I'm just going to chuck them down. Right, that's vintage. Just some plastic beads, but unusual shaped. So vintage stuff. Where can I put... I'll tell you what. Andrea inspired wicker bowl. I'm going to put all my vintage stuff in one. I have no space and then I've got another one and I'm gonna put non vintage stuff in another how does that sound that sounds good so there we go I mean I could have organized this hey Shelly how are you um I didn't catch your live stream earlier but I will in a bit I'll go back and have a look once I've done all of this um yeah right next bag do holler if you see something interesting I, I will. Um, is it the classic Kelsey? It's vintage. Yes. Um, so, see, that's like the old Titty Biscuits. <laughs> um, titty Biscuits is one of my favourite words. See, that's a round clasp. 
and then on this one, I mean this is just, this is jewellery kind of 101 I'm teaching you, I'm not an expert, trust me. And you see you've got the lobster clasp here, the lobster clasp was painted in I think 1993. So things with a lobster clasp obviously would be after that time. So, I mean, it could still be vintage, but um, on the... <laughs> Ooh, that is one of the most painful places to get burnt as well, isn't it? Right, next one, we've got a little baggie of those hair jewels. Hey Leah, how are you? This is a surprise, it is a surprise one today um, because I'm in a, an extremely good mood because like I said I finished my um, my script and considering I wrote 23 pages yesterday um, it's actually turned out to be like okay. <laughs> um, right, this is this is a sort of lobster clasp and that's the uh, right, that's the abalone shell, but this is a heap of tangled mess. So that's going to be some fun that I sort out another day. Uh, we have got some terrible old plastic beads, some more terrible old plastic beads, and then I don't know, is this a bit of a curtain or something? Because that's broken to me. And then one earring. That's exciting, isn't it? One earring. Feel free to, I mean, um, if you guys want to like get on with your own work and stuff, like feel free to because, you know, please don't let me, you know. Oh, okay. Sorry, Andrea. I'll try it. I'll, I'll be quiet. <laughs> right, so I'm putting spares down here. Okay. I think I've got a total of like 36 bags, something like that. Ooh. Okay, who knows? <gasps> okay, hi Scott. Shout Titty Biscuits again. Titty Biscuits! Oh, Scott's got my favourite Scott. Uh, that's my best gay friend Scott. He's getting married in like less than three weeks. Hey, are you at headquarters today? Um, right, so RSPB brooches. I hear that some of these have got some worth. So I've got a couple here. This is a Kestrel. Okay, so that's good, isn't it? I'm going to keep these separate. We've got a ringed plover. Oh, you're in Trafarest. Um, well, I'll send you the script anyway, Scott. I'm allowed to send you it, but I won't send anyone else it, obviously. Um, oh, some tat. What are you doing? Are you doing something nice in Trafarest? Oh, tat. Um, but yeah, I'll send you the script later. Still not figured that foot brooch. Yeah, I, I, I also did like a little search for it as well and I couldn't find anything on the quick little search. Um, this? I don't know. Um, don't work too hard though, Scott. Are you taking, what, what leave have you got anyway? Sorry, I'm, I'm just like on here chatting to, you know, my mates. Bianca will probably be in in a minute because she uh, she finishes work soon, hopefully. She's done a 14-hour shift, bless her. That's just awful. Um, not seeing anything super duper exciting just yet. These are just um, all right-ish beads, you know. Walk to school badges. Oh, to promote kids that... Yes, kids should walk to school. Why don't they walk to school? Because of all paedophiles that are out there, isn't it? Everywhere, everyone's a paedophile now. Uh, we're all your... You are all my friends now. Um, the, were they ceramic? No, they're plastic, I think. Yeah, just like painted to look like... Yeah, well, what, like, I don't get why... You have those walking buses now, don't you? So, again, nothing exciting in that one. I see more RSPB badges, though. So, I spent £25 on this. I'm hoping to get it all back in RSPB vouchers. You know? So, yes, £25 for all of these bags. Um, So, I've got a couple more. Oh, it's a little bunny babbit. I've got a white hair from RSPB, which I thought was only about birds. I don't know why they've got an oyster catcher. That used to be a nice pub in Lalliston. Um, uh, we've got just some 
plasticky things, plasticky things. I mean, guys, this could actually go on for hours, you know that. Um, a memory wire thing with, yeah. Um, this has got some, ooh, not sure about that. A lot of these, uh, like Karen with hers, will probably go into a lot um, and just be sold off for like a craft or something. I've got this, which I hope was going to have pictures of Jesus on, but it's not. It's pictures of butterflies. So that'll go into like a little kiddies lot, you know, like a playtime jewellery thing. Uh, this is, I think it's pretending to be a four-leaf clover. Um, that's all right. I, could, I suppose I could sell that one separately for a couple of pounds, can't I? It's nice enough, it's, you know. Right, I mean, is any, I haven't kept a pound. Um, exactly, let someone else have it, take it down the car boot and stuff. If they get, you know, 10 for an item, they might be happy with that, isn't it? You know, if I get a fiver for the lot, that's cool. Right, uh, so these are vintage clip-on earrings. They're quite hideous 80s ones, so they'll probably go into a clip-on earring lot another rspb i'm quite pl pleased that there's all of these rspb like badges in here because i have a feeling that they're a couple of quid each these and some of them can reach certainly a pretty penny um i don't know what this one is but it's got a really long neck so there we go it's another bead oh this is hideous disgusting things like that I probably will just burn not really that would be a terrible waste uh, this one's got a barrel clasp so this is faux pearls do them as a collection yeah maybe if I had like a load of uh, leather ones and things like that or emo looking ones I could put them all together can't I um, so that's barrel clasp and it twists together um, but this will go into a crafter's lot because as you can see it's been like restrung and it's not that pretty oh a little bit of porcelain Unfortunately, it's chipped, but I've got a few chipped porcelain um, items, uh, vintage items, so I'll put them together as just a little chip block, but again, people can do something with that. Ooh, this is interesting. This is snakeskin with leather on the inside. So I wonder if that's real snakeskin. It, it kind of feels like it is. That's quite bizarre. As you can see, I don't know if the light can kind of catch that, but you can see like the individual like bits of skin rather than it just being like printed on. So I will look that up. That could be something quite unusual. Um, and then just another couple of, eh, you know, all right. Um, a little surfer dude kind of bracelet. Uh, we, okay, this is, strange we have a small boy in trousers check if you have a bullfinch a hundred pounds shit you really okay do i put on do you know what i've been meaning to do etsy um for about the past month now but you know when you've got something like when you've got to do something and if you tell yourself that you've got to do it like my rebellious mind says you're not freaking doing it so that's what I was doing with my script, that's what I've been doing with Etsy, that's what I've been doing with my account. Um, but at some point, I will put on Etsy, because you can get a nicer price for things. Um, does anybody recognise this small bibby? Yeah, I don't either. And then we've got something I completely disagree with. This is two flags together, one of which is the UK flag and one of which is the American flag. Hmm... I know, those RSPB brooches, they're insane. I mean, it would be amazing if I did have, you know, a £100 one. I know, exactly, yuck. Um, but yeah, so far we've got Oyster Catcher, White Hair, Ringed Plover and Kestrel and an unknown one. But I mean, I've got five there, surely that's a tenner, you think? You know. Okay, next bag. We've, oh, we've got Jesus! Our special relationship in a brooch, exactly, which I've just thrown. Ugh. Right, we've got some Jesus biscuits. Let him sop you up. Um, that's quite a nice metal banglet. So I'll try and get like a whole... You're still watching, Scott. I can't believe you're actually still watching. Um, yes, this is the lot the charity shop were meant to keep for me. Um, 
that you know i said to them just just let me know a price let me know a price i'll buy it all and and they still went and bagged it all up into one pound bags and i'm like yes i will buy it all duh anyway so that'll be in a lot headphones in at your desk good boy scott um, so they were originally going to charge 49 pence for some plastic. These will go into the... Jesus was a biscuit. Let him... Uh, well, oh, what is it? Is it? What is it? Two piece and a biscuit. My friend Yabral is watching. He would appreciate that. Plastic beads, kids, lot, tap. Um, this is... A couple of strings of pearls. Oh, look at the gays talking. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to be terribly patronising. Just a little bit patronising. Um, tatty bangles. Whatever's. Um, yes, my best gay friend's got getting married. I've got my dress sorted. He's got his belt sorted and I cannot wait to see him in it because he's going to look so freaking sexy. Um, oh, don't start singing old manic songs, Sid. But welcome. Oh, I have got something for the boys, not for Scott, obviously. Wait there. Wait there a sec. So if there are yeah. any boys here, um, if there are any of, if there are, right, talking of boys, there we go, we've got ads. So for people that don't like jewellery, um, yeah, but Scott, you're not going to like this. Um, I've got some nice vintage porn for you to look at too. So every so often I can show you a little pretty image from here. So, there you go, bikinis worn indoors. Isn't that lovely? Don't they look like they're having terrible amounts of fun? Oh, look, she's got a... She put her umbrella up inside. You know? Um, they don't get much racier than that, though. It's a bit... Beach Bells is a bit boring. However, we have got the Lady Bo Ladybird Book of Porn. Um, I don't think it's by the lady... Oh, how rude. Um, so this is a little, like, a little break, just for, for you boys. Captive. <gasps> so, there we go. Anyways, we'll come back to that in a bit, and let's have a look at some jewellery. Um, I thought you said ladyboy. Do you want to see some ladyboys? I've probably got some ladyboy stuff if you want that ads. I mean, that's terribly specific, but, you know, we cater for everyone here. Right. Um, plastic bangle. Uh blue stuff how do you want it um oh that's just wooden beads not very exciting blue i think they tried to think about this little baggie when they were putting it together and they put lots of blue things first and it's like well i don't care um that's quite pretty enough but it still just goes in my meh oh hello um i don't think you've been here before have you used tom isn't it um, blue faux pearls. Hmm, that's quite nice. That's got some, they're just plastic beads, but they've got a nice little bit of detail on there. Tom, do you want to see some porn? You don't have to. I'm not going to force you to look at some porn. Um, just bangles, I'll put them all together. That'll go in the kids' lot. Um, you are, a, I've, I've taken your virginity. Well, your lectural virginity. Um, always. Okay, so... Uh, so, tell me when to stop. Tell me when to stop. You're not telling me when to stop. Okay. Oh, good choice. Right. There we go. She looks a bit perturbed, doesn't she? Like, oh dear, my clothes seem to have fallen off. How awful. So, there we go. Delightful. So that was one for the girls and boys there. That's nice. Um, kind of mod looking-ish. Ooh, a bit of gay pride. In it. I just, sorry, I didn't mean to just like fling the gay pride away. That was, you know. Was it a bloke? Do you reckon? Do you think? Um, right, next bag. Black. Plastic bangle, they'll go in a lot together. Wooden beads will go in a lot together. You're out cooking in the sun. What are you cooking? On a barbecue? 
More, more. Do you want some more? Well, it's the next commercial break I will give you. Oh, I kind of need one of these right now. Is that, is that a bit better? Okay, we've got a crazy ring. Work is calling. Just don't, don't go to work. Just quit your job. Just quit it. Thanks, Scott. I might just wear this at you. I'm coming like this to your wedding, okay? Deal. And this is your wedding present. Some, yay. Um, some more things. Standard in it. There you go. I want some more of these RSPB brooches to find out if I got that £100 one. Uh, we've got a made in China little heart thing. Um, I'm not finding much vintage stuff so far. Some broken. I say that. And this is vintage and it's broken. So, never mind. So that'll go in a crafter's lot. As will this random semi precious stone. Don't know what type that is. Uh, what have we got here? Salud. Salad? No. Um, made with love. And then there's some leaves and an angel. Yeah. Um, I'm sure someone put a lot of time and effort into that just for it to be donated to a charity shop for me to buy it for a pittance and then throw it into another job lot. If I, uh, peanut M&Ms. Will they be all melty by now? That's the best kind. Another broken bit of tat. That was probably the other end. And then... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to bother trying to untangle that crap. Um, hmm. Bit of statementy type. They taste a bit stale. Put them in a milkshake. Mmm. Right. Oh, we've got some looks like some charity roaches in here. What other ones did you have, Karen, if you're still watching? You had you said you had like two lots of charity roaches. Oh, oh, right, okay, there's a lot in this one. Right, so we have got a memory wire. Ba -ding! Bangle. I think you had one quite similar, didn't you, Karen? Um, bit of plastic. Plastic. All the plastic things like this I'll just put into a uh, dressing up box for kids. You know. Um, oh, yep. Wow, okay. I quite like that. That's bizarre. That's one earring. I'm hoping to find the other one at some point because I think that's kind of a bit special. Don't you think? Wouldn't quite work as a monocle, but I quite like that. I hope there's not just one. That would be a real shame if there was just one. Some more just plasticated from Marks and Spencers. Um, so I'll do if I get like modern named ones like Marks and Spencers and Next and things like that, I'll put them together as a little lot as well. Plastic. What have we got? UEFA Champions League. I'll keep that aside. Right, we've got some little bits. Is. Tangled up earrings and ting. Okay. Okay, so we've got some vintage clip ons that are not very nice. They'll go into a lot together. We've got a cladder. Cladder? Is it cladder? Where it's holding... I think that might just be a Welsh thing, isn't it? Where you get a cladder ring, but that's just one on its own, so that's a shame. So that'll go probably into a crafter's lot. A pair of hideous earrings. Um, a bit of a shell. So that'll be crafter's lot. We've got lots of individual earrings. That's a shame, isn't it? That'd be quite a pretty one. Cladar should be gold. I don't think... Yeah, it's not hallmarked or anything. It might be gold-plated. I mean, can you imagine if that was gold? That's quite a weighty bit. That would be quite a bit, but... Um, I'll keep it aside anyway. You know, it's quite nice, isn't it? Uh, we have got... Okay. Does anybody know... Um, C H S E C S E H looks like some kind of nautical type pin. I don't know. 
Do you look for gold and silver at the car booths? I do very rarely find it, apart from that time when I found two gold and diamond rings and she basically asked for a couple of quid for them. That was quite kind of cool. But, um, yeah, it's pretty much the only thing I look for at the car booths, actually, is jewellery. Um, not necessarily gold and silver, but certainly jewellery. Is that NSPCC? Something like that, isn't it? Um, and I, I tend to find something every week that's all right. But, you know, gold and silver, you'll get the traders go around really early going, got any gold, got any silver? And they'll basically rob them blind of everything. Confederation of Health Service Employees. Oh, Scott, you're so bloody clever, aren't you? You're so bloody clever. Um, what about this? GG and some guy that looks like he's having a funky dance. You know, who can say? Google, baby. Yes. But I can't Google right now, so thank you very much for being my little Google assistant there. Um, random, just single earrings of things. Girl guide. Well done, Andrea. She doesn't look very girly or guidey, though. But, I mean, I was never a girl guide, so I wouldn't know. I mean, do I look like the type to be a girl guide? They wouldn't let me in, would they? Um, one single faux turquoise earring. Again, I hope that there might be other ones in here. Um, a ring that says love on it. And just a couple of bits of tap for the kiddies ones. Come on, we want more RSTB things and obviously some gold. Do you, do you reckon I'm a brown owl? Me looking after kids, being in charge of them. God, could you imagine the horror? The horror. Um, okay, we've got some more plastic tap. I went to Brownies once, hated it. Yeah, I think the whole, I don't know, organised fun thing just kind of never got on with me. Um, again, this would have been, is a vintage necklace, but it's broken and it's, Gingang Ghoulie, do you reckon? <laughs> Maybe the last bit. Um, some hearts. This is a real hot mess of stuff that's all tangled together. And yeah, exactly. And that's not my kind of... I mean, we all have our own kinds of religions, don't we? I certainly have my kind of religion, which is the Bill and Ted religion of be excellent to each other and party on dudes and um, and I think that's all we need as a religion really is just to do that I can't untangle that that's about four necklaces in there that's nice isn't it Ooh, oh, PB brooch right someone be on the lookout now okay someone be my googly assistant okay because we have got some more RSPB ones on there so we've got um, one that Scott will love, and that's Swallow. <laughs> um, so there you go, Swallow. Is that £100? We've got a bullfinch. A bullfinch. Oh, Mummy's back. Hmm? Mummy's back. I'm live streaming and I say, Mummy's back. Come and say hello. Hello. This is uh, I Love Moustaches. <laughs> Tack. Can I come and say hello? Oh, I get my breath. Gotta get her breath first. Scott says hi. Scott's hi. on the stream as well. He's naughtily hi. watching while um while he's in work. Hi. He's a naughty policeman. Can you say hi, Mum? Hi. Um, this is oh, it's not it's not just there's twenty four people watching this. Oh. I know for some reason got nothing better to do than watch me. <laughs> um. These are some pretty, they're not, they're just painted beads. Um, and that is vintage, but it's broken. But I can fix that. What does the bullfinch look like? Here we go. Please tell me that's a hundred pound one because, like, that would be freaking awesome. Some, I got a load of RSPB brooches, aren't they cute? Oh, lovely. And, like, yeah, little bunny nice. rabbits and stuff. And some of them are worth, um, like, a pink sparrow. Yes. Nineteen ninety nine. That's my money back right there. Woo! <laughs> Score! Ah, oh, so you just love when that happens. I just love it. Um, that'll be going in a 
uh, like a surface one. That's what I was trying to think. Surface. God, you can see my brain just didn't work then. Your brain is not engaged. Um, yeah. Vintage but broken. There are three different bullfinches on eBay. Okay. Well, I've got one with a little purpley pink chest. Um, yeah, have a look through, see if there's anything you want. Um, plastic. Did that come like that all tangled? It up? came, yeah, it came like that. It's it's a feature of it, all tangled, so have that. Yeah, I'll go and untangle. You're going to untangle, okay. Um, yeah. And... I mean, some of these I can sell, you know, separately. Um, it's just whether I could kind of be bothered. I just, I honestly just got this stuff just for the, you know. Oh, this, this is just from Select. If you have a Select in your town, it was eighteen pounds, I think. Yeah, Mum's on a mission. Um, yeah, it was eighteen pounds. Plus they had um, a bit of a sale on as well, so I think I actually spent fourteen pounds on it, which is quite nice. I bought another dress as well. Oh, send them to my mum then. Right. Um, oh, this is there's something pretty in here. It just looks like console. Yeah, I know. Console wires. Scott sorts out my console wires for me, cause I can't be doing with that. But that's quite pretty. That might be something to sell on its own. I don't know if select sell online. Um, but yeah, if you've got one on your tower in your town, cable management in life indeed. Um, you are my cable management. It is absolutely boiling here, Kerry, but um, I still decided to go out in denim and my um, Pixies, um, where is it? My Pixies hoodie. So, I did leave the house in this fleece, which was obviously a bit of a dumbass okay. idea. But you know, I'm a dumbass kind of person. Right, more plastic tapped, wooden beads, um, got a little clamp of bangle but it's a bit faulty and loose, um, some foam marker seat in there, yeah. we've got whatever the fudge that is, right come on we're looking for this expensive bullfinch or whatever it is, okay, we've still got quite a, quite a way to go guys and, it, and it's, I've been a half an hour. 32 degrees here. <gasps> it's like a million and twelve here. Oh, Scott, Scott, Scott! Oh! South, Pl South Wales Fire and Rescue Service. Oh, I was getting very excited then. I thought it might be police dog tags. But, oh well. Never mind. Shame. Um, and that is attached to something hideous. Uh, we've got... More of them. Do you want me to keep a few? I can keep a few. We don't have dog. You should have dog tags. You've got fantastic epaulets. Your rainbow epaulets are beautiful because it's pride coming soon. Um, we've got a bit of a statement ring there. <gasps> Scott, you can use that in your wedding. Not really, obviously. We've got two golden boots, which look like the Monopoly pieces. Don't they? They look like Monopoly boots. So, that's quite strange. They're not going to be real gold because they're not hallmarked. So they're probably just going to be gold-plated. But I'll keep them aside anyway. Um, some... Mm, um, ooh, these are, like, magnetic. So, hematite? Is it hematite that's magnetic? And you can wear them in all... What is it? No, it's an ore. It's a what? What? It's an ore, so it's not magnetic. O R E. O R E, yes, but it's not magnetic. I can't really tell if I did. I'm not sure. Well, whatever it is, this is magnetic anyway. I've got a few of them. I might just shove that in the lot with them. And then some. Oh, yes, have fun, Kerry. Have a good one. Go and have a nice cool beer somewhere, isn't it? Right, let's cut out. There's another one of them boots. I don't know why there's so many of these little golden boots. Why are there golden boots everywhere? What's the what's the thing with that? And I've got three golden boots. So strange. Should I say golden boots again? Would you like to see some porn again? Okay, back to beauty. 
And we have got, oh, it's people's backs. Ah, I see what they did there. Pictures of backs. That's nice. Um, yeah, Monopoly boots are silver. They are, aren't they? So I don't understand why this, why, the, look, look, three. I don't know, I don't know. Right, anyway, so. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. We have got... Okay. Plastic blue beads. <gasps> Vintage. Broken. Shame. Um, set of grey faux pearls. Yeah, they are faux. There's no knots in between and they're, they're too regular looking to be a thing. But that'll go in the vintage pile. This bit whole mess as well so I think that's like a three strand thing but it looks broken ah oh, well one for the craft as well isn't it? here we go this looks interesting looks weird <gasps> got another Jesus bangle and hideousness and we've got this thing How do you even get that on? It looks like there should have been a pin there and that's broken, but like, how? That, that, that's not going to fit anywhere. How are you meant to, oh, 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 okay. Interesting. Okay. It does look like something from Star Trek, but don't say Star Trek too loud because Scott will hear you. It is very, through my nose, oh yes! Genius, this is what I do wedding, Scott. For sure. Okay, and, ooh, we've got to sign something. Right, some bangles, some things, and that is. And we have got a little Celtic knot thing. A little pendant, that looks quite nice. And it's signed on the back. It's not Fish and Crown, which is a shame, but RT. Does anyone know what RT was? I'll keep that aside as a... That's just something to look at. Linger on. Okay. I spy some dolphins in here. Dolphins. I don't want to swim with dolphins. Right, accessorise. 925 sterling silver. It's only a tiny little bit of sterling silver. But we've got silver. Original price £10 for that, so that'll go on its own. Hey, hey. Cool. Um, I mean, I've definitely got my money's worth now, haven't I? Uh, we've got just an old plain chain, but I'm sure I can find a pendant to go on that. Um, some plastic crap, some dolphin crap. Those will go in all of the kids' lots. Um, what is, so I paid £25 for all of this, 25 of your earth pounds, this is vintage, this is really nice, this is Sarah Coventry, thank you very much, that's £15-£20 right there. Mum, come and have a look at this, it's so mod. Yeah. I love it. I've nearly got it all in You've nearly got it. Oh yes. That's fab, isn't it? Yes, like that. That is super mod. We like that. Sarah Coventry. I like that. So, that is a good one. That is a very good one. Um, some more bangles for the lot. Some bits and bobses. Um, what have we got here? You're not silver. That's just a nice little... Um, Art Deco, do you think? Or that? Is that one the one you're on about? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, it is. That's, yeah. It's cool. Um, some faux pearls. A little bit of jade, aventurine. Um, <gasps> you're a gay pride, awesome. Say hello, say hello to all the beautiful gays. Do they look beautiful? I'm sure they do. Right, um, another bangle, some plastic tap for the kids. Oh, I'm super chuffed with this lot so far. I'm really, really happy. Uh, this is from Next. So again, that'll go in the lot with like 
um, Mark Suspensers and stuff. Some more um, like wooden things and shell things, a butterfly thing. Here we go. Oh, I can see a mini mouse in here. Um, I am morally against Disney, apart from Enchanted. Scott, sing Enchanted. Oh, August, that's just printing t-shirts for it. Ah. When is our pride, Scott? In September, isn't it? Yes. I haven't been to pride in ages, though. Uh, we've got some very plain cufflinks. I've got um, a lot of men's like vintage jewellery stuff. August 23rd. What, Cardiff Pride is August 23rd? Oh, okay. I thought it was September. Anyway. Um, weird things. 25th, okay. Um, wooden beads. This looks vintage. Gold plated. Um, I can't remember what these... Yeah, it used to be in September because it always bloody rained, didn't it? Um, one of these clasps where you have to, like, lock it in like that. Oh, this is Monet. Hey, so that's another named piece. Um, I'll have to clean that one up though because it looks a bit stinking. Uh, we've got Minnie Mouse, so that'll go in the kids' lot. Again, I'm morally against Disney. Yes, I don't know. I was going to say Scott. Scott. Um, oh, I can't do it. Some hearts. What's the song? After she knows that she loves her. Um, Kitty's Bangles. Boring. Uh, what's this? What's this? Do 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 do. What's this? Do 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 do. Is this too? This is too. This is many tangled together. This is annoying. Yes, Enchanted, the best Disney film. Because it is the best Disney film. And Tangled. Oh, dear Lord. Right. So these are glass and semi precious and turquoise. Actual turquoise there. Um, why don't I agree with Disney? Um, well, one, because I just never watched Disney films as a kid, so I don't have that. Because. Because they are exploitative. Because Mummy said they're exploitative. <laughs> um, they are cheap and nasty. Um, I don't know, just because I, I never got into them as a kid. Walt Disney is a Nazi. Um, was a Nazi. Um, so the rumour goes. No, I just don't like that it's so mass everything. And, yeah... They do ruin... Mummy says they ruin all the stories by Americanizing everything. I mean, some of them are great. Like, Enchanted is great. And Tangled is good. Because she's not, like, a regular princess. Um, and she doesn't need to be saved. But the rest of them, like, you know, they just kind of suck, I think. I'm not really that morally against Disney. I just think it's one of those... It's so commercial that... It kind of takes the fun out of liking something when, you know, when it's just freaking everywhere and everyone is in it. Like Frozen, I can't stand. Um, nice little gold plated chain. I'll keep that aside because I could put something on it. And some glass beads. No offence to anyone who is into Disney, you're obviously more than entitled to, you know. It's like someone saying to me that they're not into Stanley Kubrick films, which is absolutely fine. I don't know why you wouldn't be in Stanley Kubrick film, but... Have you done it? We need, yeah. Oh, I clever mummy. I love those beads. I love those beads. Do you want that one? No, I don't no. I know, I never wear jewellery either. Yes, exactly. It's a, And also, do you remember on Little Britain where they had those characters that were like, Oh, I love Disney! Let's get married in Disney! Oh, I love Disney! And they're there and they're, you know... It's almost as bad as off focus. No, I'd love to go to Vegas. Oh, no. I would definitely Last go to Vegas. Place on earth I would go. Some more abalone shell. That'll go in my... We need something to put these onto. Oh, Mum, just honestly, just chuck them in the basket because that's what's actually going to genuinely happen. Um, some, that's actually quite nice for something that's a bit of tat. That's all glass beads. 
the same as the stretchy one. Because that will lose its stretch eventually. Oh uh, no, I, Mum, I'm honestly just, no, don't. No, no, I just can't stand the thought of having to untangle it again. Well, you won't have to untangle it's it again because I'm just going to sell it to someone else. Beautiful. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, this is um, probably only a 1980s. Got more tangly things. Oh, there'll there'll be a whole half ton of them. Um, trust me. Um, so box clasp with a pearl on it. This is probably 1980s, made to look 1950s, but that's all right. And that'll go into my vintage jewelry lot. Um, we've got a little faux enamel. Things like two pendanty things. Yeah, just chuck them in. Unless they've got names on them. Have they got names? Have that got a name? No. No, no names. That's quite pretty. That's pearly thing again. Sorry, I missed the um uh, exactly. And kids you know, I, like I can understand kids wanting things like that. I don't understand adults being obsessed with Disney and Beauty and the Beast and having to buy everything from Primark that's got Beauty and the Beast on it. I just don't get diamonds. it. They're not going to be diamonds, Mother. How do you know? Somebody because it's not in gold. <laughs> diamonds are in platinum. No, diamonds are also in gold because I've got gold rings, haven't I? Yes, but the best diamonds are set in platinum. Um, yeah. knows. Mummy knows. Mother knows best. Isn't that right? Um, ooh, some weird, the Eye of whatever they're called. Eye of Sauron, no, it's not Eye. Um, oh, the evil eye things, the Hamza oh, I don't whatevers. Know. They had loads of them in Marrakesh as well. Oh, I like and that. then um, nice. a little star thing on a cord. That's oh, just like that. Ooh, I like this bangle. This is a nice bangle. That goes with the top, actually, Mum. Is it? Yeah. Kind of, you're looking a bit hippie-ish. That's nice, a little crackle glaze. Sorry, whatever someone just said then, I totally missed it. Someone say something so I can see it. <laughs> Ooh, very, very bad, bad broken vintage beads. That's a shame. Um, we've got a little... After... F okay, yes, Morador, yes. And after Fry on the School Run. All right, see you later, Shelley. And... Um, quite a nice silver. Oh, that's a nice little silver chain. Yeah. Um, that's a nice little delicate silver, silver chain. But it's old so and we'll, it's tarnished. That's fine, we like tarnished. Okay. Oh, that's not silver though. That's not silver, but no. that, the other one is. That, the other one looks like silver, yeah. This looks like silver. I reckon that's a tiny little hallmark there. Yeah. Hallmark. That's 925. We've got some more sterling silver. Well done, Mummy. I've got two bits of sterling silver now. Yay. That's cool. Yes, I'll wear, I'm going to wear this to Scott's wedding. Which, okay, Scott, have you seen what she's chosen to wear to your wedding? Best friend. Just to be a little understated number. <laughs> it's lovely, Mummy. Lovely. Um, it's lovely. Oh, it's a magnetic thing. Did you just, um, so everyone else is eBay slow. It was all right over the weekend, and then I haven't had any sales again today but I had 17 parcels to go this morning, so that was okay. Um, but I thought the old lady threw it in the ocean in the end. <laughs> Did you watch that again the other day? I didn't. I think I've seen Titanic about 8 million times now. What does this say? Avon. Avon calling. Boring. Yes, I haven't found the heart of the ocean yet. One day... Well, and like I'll find that Chanel suit with um, JFK's blood all over it. Oh. That's the one I want. Nah, just the Britney version. Uh, right, we've got a weird spring. Um, yeah. Mm, yeah. That's quite nice. That's enamel. With some little like diamante. It's not signed, but shame. That's nice. Mm. Right, what have they priced up at five ninety nine here that they're probably having a laugh because it's Oxfam five ninety nine. Oh right, it's um scarf pin, which is there you go, Mum, you've got a tangling a detangle. A detangling, see there's a whole lot of 
And there's something with like a tiny little coin on it there. Mm -hmm. Look fun. Okay. Um, a whole bunch of seeds. She's almost up whinging. Um, and then this is quite pretty, but it's got a strangely new clasp on it. But I reckon that clasp has been replaced. That's not the original clasp. Because that is quite vintage looking, that. I mean, I suppose it could be 90s, couldn't it? But. Oh, listen to her, she's bloody whinging. What's the matter? Is it? I want attention. Okay. So well done for sticking with me if you're still here. It's not far to go now. Only about another seven bags or something. You've done super well. Oh, and that's actually just stuck inside the bag. Ooh. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes, get Jade. it in. It's broken, but it's freaking beautiful. Look at that. That is carved, carved jade. Do you reckon jade? Let's have a look. It's, it's broken, bright. but that's it's easy. It's too bright for jade. Yeah. yeah. It's too bright for jade. But it's some kind of stone, isn't it? No. Plastic? Plastic, yeah. Oh, please plastic. don't. Please say Bakelite. It's not going to no, be Bakelite. No, it's not going to be Bakelite. Give me, give me, give me. Mm. It's mine. <laughs> Hey! Right, look, look, look at that. How beautiful is that? That is all carved, and then look at that. That is stunning, isn't it? Right, I only, that's not a bad fix either. All I have to do is fix that back to that. But that is freaking lush. No one asked you. I am super happy with that one. Super, super happy. That might even be on Dilver as well. Oh God, what is she whinging about? What do you want? Do you want food? Oh, bloody cat. Wow. We had some bezel set plastic, which isn't quite so much. I know that is exciting, isn't it? Like that, that's my favorite thing so far. So I'm really chuffed with that. Really, really chuffed. Not bad for 25 pound this, not bad at all. Um, a little, Potential bit of gold here. No, just gold plate. A little broken chain, unfortunately. That's a shame. That would have been quite sweet. Oh, we've got some bits of crystal. Genuine. Genuine crystal. But someone will buy that because, you know, people like their crystal healing shenanigans, don't they? And watch and pause. Oh, Mum, you've got another detangling mess here. Look oh, at that. Yes. That's a lovely one. That is detangling hell. Right. Okay, have okay. fun. Okay. Do excuse my underarms. Look at that. That's quite gross, isn't it? But, you know. What you gonna do, eh? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Right, we've got some more of these magnetic things. Um, This is quite a hefty malefty thing. So this says gold plated. Uh, it's a shame there's no name on it, but that's a little vintage kind of rope chain there. That's all right, isn't it? Um, I know, the weather is lush, isn't it? I was hoping for a storm yesterday, but we didn't get one. Um, that looks like another, you know, next or Marks and Spencers kind of thing. We've got some more wooden beads that all go with a lot together. Oh, and there was some clear accessories, no studs. I might give that to Alana, actually. I'll keep them aside, see if she wants them. Um, some big buggery wooden beads. The wooden beads people have got a lot from today. Um, we've got a strange bauble filled with people's wishes and dreams. Or plastic. Um, which are tangled up in some earrings, so that would be another mission for Mummy. Um, some, mm, I don't know, uh, some rose gold thing, a uh, thing, some things. We didn't find any more of them uh, RSPB ones, did we? And we've only got, got one, two, three, four more to do. Aww. 
So I'm not going to earn my millions in uh, in RSPV brooches. Never mind. But certainly my money back on them anyway. Oh look, look at this. I'm gonna have to like cut this open. This is why I didn't want them putting them in bags because they didn't need to and they've wasted all of this plastic which is very silly of Oxfam when I told them not to do it but there we are did they listen? no any sewing themed jewelry let me know I will certainly keep some aside for you if I ever find any definitely Um, I've got another hot mess of detangling ugh Right, what do we get in this one? Okay, so these are the last three guys. Oh good, yes, get some nice sun. Bangle, little bangles. One Direction, awesome. Jesus, quite similar to One Direction. Hmm, they're just plastic. Plastic hideous. One for the kids laugh. Right, last two bags, guys. Last two bags. Let's do this one. Because I see an RSPV brooch in there. Could this be the one? Okay. <laughs> We've got a long tailed tit. Everybody say it. A long tailed tit. So there we go. That's quite nice, isn't it? Oh, we've got a broken thing. We have casualties. Um, oh, this is, it's mm -hmm. quite nice. It's a long tail tit, Dawn. A long tail tit. <laughs> and some more to detangle. We have got tackling testicular cancer. Um, nice, exactly, yeah, nice for a wedding, that. It's nice, nice for a wedding, that. <laughs> Uh, some more broken pearls, unfortunately, so that'll go in a little crafter's lot. Oh god, there's bloody pearls everywhere now. Um, nothing exciting in that lot. Just, yep. Stuff and thing. Okay, let's just throw all that in there. And now the last one, guys. What do you reckon? Are we going to earn our millions from this one? Possibly not, but hey, we've been something from today, haven't we? So, what have we got? What have we got? Okay. Another RSPB peacock butterfly. Tell me that's worth a million. Um, tat, tat. Um, someone's keyring. A castrel keyring. We've got Susie Smith. Oh, Ooh, another RSPB. A goldfinch, 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 anyone? <laughs> I swear they're doing this on purpose. We had long tail tit and now we've got a shag. A shag. What's the difference between a cormorant and a shag? What's the difference between a cormorant and a shag? I don't know, Mother. What is the difference between a cormorant and a shag? A shag is much more fun. A shag is much more fun. You can see where I get it from, can't you? Uh, so £6 for that one. Nice one. No great tit. No, no great tits, I'm afraid, apart from these ones. Oh, that's terrible. Um, no, goldfinch, longtail tit, shag and swallow. So, that's nice, isn't it? You've got a shag and a swallow and a tit. Uh, wooden beads. Plastic beads. Um, an ear cuff. Another ear cuff thingy. Uh, some black tat. Another freaking gold boot. Someone find out what 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 all that's about. Um, some black and gold stuff. Some I don't know. Are these earrings? I can't see any way to put them in your ear. So I don't know what that is. Exactly, just an average day for me, really. Um, it looks like it depends on what card the badges are on. Oh, okay. Well, I've only got these two, three. 
different ones and that even, doesn't even look like that's a proper card so really only these two um, and the very last item is this gold tone bangle bracelet -y thingy I'm hoping it's signed it would be really nice if it was signed someone took an offer for four pound on a gold boot really well I've got four of them five of them um, so this is quite smart, this I can sell on its own, it's unsigned, I can't see any numbers or anything on it, but that's kind of cool, bit of maybe like Egyptian revival art deco style, that's alright isn't it? Um, so yeah for £25 I've done alright haven't I? So that, we've got our Monet necklace, like these are the highlights, the highlights. Our Sarah Coventry, um, our oh, gorgeous, just gorgeous, even though it's broken, I can totally fix it, and it's gorgeous. Um, nice little signed pendant that I've got to find out about. Uh, we've got two bits of silver, some gold plated items, little cladar. Um, little silver chain, um, some crystals, something about Susie Smith, I don't know who she is, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven RSPB things. Oh, and, and, and that. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. My coffee is terribly cold and it's been over an hour now. So I hope I haven't bored you all too much. Off a bag. Ah, is Susie Smith, that must be a, a bag maker then. Um, yeah, because it doesn't look, it's got that on it, which looks like it's not something that you would, you know what I mean? It looks, yeah, I agree. Anyway, I agree. Off a bag. Probably not something I can sell separately. Then. Or not someone, something that someone would want to buy separately. Um, so favourite thing, can you guess what my favourite thing is? The one that I was most excited about, I think, has to be this one, doesn't it? Because that is just, I will test for Bakelite, but I don't think it's going to be, because it doesn't smell of anything. But I will test it for silver, because it is potentially silver, I reckon. Um, but yeah, that is my my favourite item, I think that is. It's purest green. Is that what it's called? Purest green? Is it? I don't know. But that is stunning, isn't it? That is so pretty. So, I'm really, really pleased. I'm pleased that they kept this stuff aside for me. Um, oh, right. <laughs> of course it's... <laughs> um, oh, was it? I have made a brooch of purest green. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, right. Um, yeah, so that's me done, guys. Um, I hope I hope you enjoyed. And um, if you want to see, so these are the baskets of stuff. So vintage, not quite so full, but some nice, nice things. Um, and stuff for job lots and things <laughs> is that. So that's kind of funny. Lovely to see you too. Oh, Mel, you're like an hour late and I'm just about to go and, you know, so, to you, just kidding, just kidding. Should I do it all again? No, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, Mel, this was my favourite thing. It's broken, but it's beautiful. I'm just going to show it again because it's lush. Uh, so, rewind, watch it all again, um, but, you know, double quick time. Um, but everybody have a fantastic day. Go and get some burn like me. And I shall leave you with... Um, oh, shall I leave you with a bum? There we go. I shall leave you with a nice... Okay, so bye-bye everyone. I love you lots. Bye-bye now. Bye. -bye now. bye.